What's going on guys, Terribly Tactical here with a quick little video for you over the Daniel Defense 32 round mags for the ARs. Um, got this with my Daniel Defense DDM4 V7. I only have one so far and I have not used it whatsoever. So a little disclaimer, uh, there's not going to be any torture test information or longevity information. Just wanted to bring this before you guys because I don't know if you guys know about them. Uh, they've been out there for a little while now. Uh, they're pretty cool. I really do like the design. There is no metal reinforcement on the feed lips, but that's how a lot of mag pulls are too, the P-Mags. Uh, seams of quality construction, nice quality polymer. Uh, the grip texture on here is really nice, and that'll aid in extracting from your magazine pouch, extracting from your gun, getting a good grip to shove it up in that mag well. Um, you can see you know, little chevrons with the DD magazine. On the other side, some more literature. It says 32 rounds. What's cool about that is, one, uh, the common you know, practice is to have a 30-round magazine and you download it to 29 or 28 rounds. Uh, that's so you can easily insert it into the gun on a closed bolt. Because if there's a full magazine of 30 rounds and you try and put it in your gun... On a closed bolt, there's a lot of pressure there, a lot of tension, and the magazine might not be seated all the way, and then you go to fire and it falls out. You know, it obviously can be inserted on a closed bolt with a full mag, 30 rounds. Uh, you really got to make sure you get it in there, you know, tap it real hard, tug on it, make sure it's in there. Um, this is nice because if you are capable of consistently loading a fully uh, loaded magazine into your gun on a closed bolt, which I think you should shoot the gun, you know, dry until you reload, unless you're doing a tactical reload to top off. Depending on the situation, the situation will dictate the tactics. Um, but this is nice because it allows you to get a full 30 rounds downloading it by two because it's a 32-round magazine. Or if you do keep them fully loaded, you know, you get an extra two rounds per mag. So that that's pretty nice. It's not that much bigger than a regular P-Mag. Uh, like I said, quality construction seems to be good, and I really do like the texture on the mags. Really grippy, uh, nice size, not much bigger than a regular P-Mag. I do also really like this base plate here. This is kind of a mag pull in and of itself. You can attach some paracord or any other device on here that could help you easily extract it uh, from your magazine pouch, your, you know, your chest rig or whatever, or you could tether it to something. Uh, that's a nice little option. Also, this angle here acts as a monopod you can see it balancing perfectly right there and it would be level with the gun while in the gun so it kind of acts as a built-in monopod on all these magazines instead of you know getting a p-mag and then buying the aftermarket base plate to make it such um, so that's nice those are some cool little features that i you know discovered just playing around with this thing like i said i have not used this mag yet there's been no rounds cycled out of it yet uh, so I can't attest to the reliability. I'm sure it's fine. It's Daniel Defense. I just got some rounds. It's fully loaded to 32 right now. I'm going to see, you know, if not having metal reinforcements on the lips, if it's going to start to, you know, peel or crack on me, um, you know, while I'm waiting for that gun to come back from the recall. Um, but, yeah, it's sweet. I, I like it. I like the features. I like the design. And uh, for not much more than a P-Mag, if these are reliable and durable, I would recommend this. You get more for your money. Um, you get the, you know, the super grippiness. You get the little mag pull, and then the monopod on it. I think is really sweet uh, for a couple bucks more. You know, Daniel Defense. I'm sure it's not garbage. I'm sure they've tested these things before they put them out on the market. Uh, but we'll see. Once I uh, get to running these, I'm going to pick up a couple more of these. Once I get to running it in the gun. I'll let you know, you know, further if we had any problems or, you know, how well they're working. But in the meantime, if you guys haven't seen them, check them out. They look pretty sweet, and uh, they're not that they're not that expensive. So, quick little video, guys. Check them out. That's the Daniel Defense 32 round magazine for the ARs. Peace.